Hey everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of our Cities Skylines Let's Play. Just looking at some of our new buildings, our new office buildings, and our little office precinct over here. Um, I think what our first order of business today is going to be is look at our um, our roundabout, our traffic problem over here. I mean, it's not too bad. I'm actually sort of toying with whether we actually really need to do anything here at all. At all. Um, it's definitely not sort of gridlocked in any way. I'm not really quite sure actually what we could do to make it a whole lot better. Um, I mean, if we're sort of making like two sort of... I was thinking about putting like in some, some big roads, like two um, one-way roads, like sort of running all the way through here, but that's just going to make a big sort of four-way intersection, which is going to stop all the traffic and stuff um, in this area, which I don't think is really going to solve the problem. So that's going to make it any better. Um, I mean, it is moving. It's not the worst thing that I've ever seen in the entire world. The biggest problem we've got, actually, cars coming in from the left, coming into this city. So, potentially, um, it could be worth trying to actually sort of get another access way into the city. Um, so, like I mentioned before, we could either sort of build um, another access way in through the top here somewhere to try and take, take some of this pressure off. Or, I think, like, a fair few cars are actually coming in off here and then coming into Evergreen Mill. So we actually sort of build a another road or another entrance into the city in here um, and see if that sort of helps at all. So what I may do, just for a little bit of an experiment, guys, um, I may... Um, what am I going to do? I'm actually think, also thinking about whether we could actually sort of build a, build a little roundabout here, like a micro roundabout, because it is like a lot of junctions here. Um, if we build like a little micro roundabout, we have to move a few services, but we could do that. Um, maybe that would sort of leave, relieve some of the congestion here. I suppose really, it's not all that bad, is it? Like, it's moving. Like, that's the big thing. Like, it's not gridlocked. It's in the middle of the day, so the traffic's not going to get really any worse than this. Um, it's in the red, but it, it's moving. It's moving constantly. So, maybe I'm sort of overreacting. I just sort of need to get over myself. Um, and not worry about it too much. So, we've put down some metros as well. Uh, metro lines. We've got 289 um, people using it per week, which is not an enormous amount, but hopefully that's going to keep building over time. May actually put down a few more, um, a few more metro stations and see how that goes. So I've only got one here, so I'm sort of thinking, uh, I don't really want to put one in like actual residential though, because it's does produce a lot of noise pollution. But I'm thinking that we're actually not sort of servicing this area of the city, so maybe we're just going to have to cop, um, sort of suck it up and cop it and um, sort of you know just just run with it with. With the fact that it is going to cause some noise and there's not really anything we can do about it, so we just, you know, have to sort of deal with it. So, what I'm going to do as an experiment, and we can get rid of it, if it's going to, if it causes too many problems with noise, uh, we can actually get rid of it. But we're actually going to put one, um, actually, we should, maybe we should put it on this, um, over here next to the park, which there's actually not a whole lot of houses around. But then I'm not really sure that's actually going to service all that many people. Oh, well, we'll, we'll try it. So it's not going to impact as many houses if we put it here. So what have we got in this area? Nothing, basically. So I'm going to put that down, put that down there. Then we're going to run a tunnel from there. Um, I think we're going to connect up. Let me just connect up into the middle of the line here. Like that. Cool. So, what are we going to do? Um, we are... How do I get rid of metro lines? Um, i got no idea. There we go, getting some rid of some there. Um, I'm not really sure, quite sure how I'm doing it, but there you go. Ah, there we go, so actually get to the end of the stop and then click on it there. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're actually going to have a line, so we're going to go from there to there, um, to there, and along to here, and to here, and then basically just back again. To there, and to there, and to there, and then complete the line there. So there we go, we'll see how this runs out, hopefully we get some sort of more people using the metro and get some more things, um, some more cars off the road. I think about whether we should actually sort of build a um, a bus line as well, some, some bus lines and see if that sort of helps, see if we sort of need to really get into the, um, the public transport thing to sort of deal with the, the traffic problem rather than trying to come up with elaborate solutions to, um, to traffic problems. So, what have we got? Up to a small city. So now we've got access to trains, which is brilliant. So we're actually going to go and set up our cargo line for our forestry industry and see how that goes. 
bunch of new policies. We've got a train station, a cargo terminal, and a hydro power plant. So we now build dams, which is brilliant. Stack of unique buildings as well, which is quite cool. Um, so level one up to level two. Got a few unlocked there. Transport tower, large office building, specially meant for public transport companies, requires for building the space elevator. Interesting. So we've got 162,000. So first thing we're going to do is put down a university, which we should have done a little while ago. Um, where are we going to put it, guys? I think we're going to put it over here somewhere. Or maybe we should put it here, um, sort of in this in this vicinity and cover. I think it's going to cover a bigger area if we put it over this way, isn't it? We are going to lose like a lot of um, residential housing or stuff if we do it. Um, so we've got a high school there. What about if we put it next to the high school? So we could put it there, lose a bunch of residential. Um, I mean, it covers most of Paradise Falls and Belmont Park, but doesn't cover a whole lot of Evergreen Mills. I think given that the bulk of our population is in Paradise Falls, it's probably the best place to put it. Um, we could put it... I can't really put it over there, can we? So about over here somewhere. Is that going to be better? No, not really. Um, or would it? No, it's not. I think we're probably better off putting it over here. Put it over opposite the high school, even though it's going to cost us a bunch of residential. I think we're just going to have to suck it up and deal with it. We could put it there. Uh, no, I don't really like that. Okay, we're going to put it here. I've decided... Opposite the um, cemetery, so that'd be fun for the people at university. There we go. Jump into our zoning and oh, I'll keep that zone if they want. If they can build there, if they want to. So there we go. Got our first university. Which is quite cool. Quite a cool building. So people can go from high school straight to university and see all the students out here slacking off, doing absolutely no work. Bludges, I tell you. Um, not that I was any better at school, so that's okay. So, look at our education. How are we actually going? So, elementary, we definitely need and what, another elementary school. So, we need one for Evergreen Mills. High school is the same. Going to need one over here. Um, university is pretty good. Lots of university capacity. So, we're going to put down a um, an elementary school, I should say, not a elementary school. Um, where are we going to put that? Where is the best place to put our elementary school? Maybe it's over here. Maybe we should sort of put all of our, our buildings and stuff over here. So put it here, and it's going to cover most of Evergreen Falls, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, Evergreen Mills. Um, yep. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to put it... And put it there. And we're also going to put down a high school. There. There we go. That should be our education um, needs solved for a while. So pretty much a lot of elementary. We could put another... Oh, I've got one over there. One over here, one over here. So we could use another one. So missing out a lot here. So we could sort of put one in this area um, to cover that. High school is pretty good. University um, is good as well. Lots of capacity there. So going okay. Got 61 grand as well, uh, which is quite good. Um, it's got a fair bit of demand for a few zones. So I think we're going to sort of go in and do some zoning to start with. I think we're going to come in and change a bunch of this to high density residential now. So we need to take out all of this along here, like this, and fill in all of this with high density residential, like that. And they can overlook the cemetery, which will be enormous fun. Um, we're going to fix out all this there, like that. And um, I think we may sort of transfer this into high density, and that will sort of be the last bit um, for this area. So we're going to take out all of this here all of this along here and then transfer all of this into high density residential like so and a strip along here as well probably down to that intersection there and so like that just take out a little bit there so that should be good and then um, here as well so all through there like that and so there we go, and then the rest of it we're probably going to keep as low density, so from there, and then the waterfront here, um, probably keep most of this as low density and build up some high density around there. So there we go, hopefully that um, fixes, or you know, fixes our residential zoning demands. Do need some more commercial, um, and so either we can build some new offices or expand our commercial out here. What I might actually do, so we'll start fleshing out this area around here and make this a little bit of a... Um, a little bit of a hub and stuff around here. So we're going to make this a little bit squarified. I suppose it's a little bit like you know, a shopping complex. Um, so it's going to be a little bit more um, rigid, I suppose. Um, so what we're going to do, 
gonna build out like that and like that and it's not there how about there Let's go up. long to there and there like that and from here we're going to do a little bit of the same to there and there like that Okay, so like we sort of mentioned in the last episode, we're actually going to get rid of this road eventually, so I can expand out this quite a bit more, so don't worry too much about that at the moment. What am I going to do? I'm going to put down some more officers, but I'm also going to start putting down some commercial, some light commercial, and sort of start making this into like a, a proper CBD, um, which I think will be quite interesting to do. So put some officers probably to there like that, and here, and maybe there as well, and just there that one as well um, and along there and then we start putting down a few light commercials so I might put some light commercial there and backing onto here and that might do for now maybe even along here as well so there we go and we'll just double check our water so I'm going to expand this one out a bit like that and this one out that way like that so I think that's quite good. I think it's going to be, this could be quite a fun little area that we can sort of build up over time, uh, make this into like a CBE, like I said, put up some office and sort of a mix of office and um, light commercial. And then we can sort of start building some high um, density residential around here and then sort of slowly peter off into like the suburbs down here and then sort of out, down, out and around here as well once we build up um, all that area as well. So that could be quite a fun little project that we can work on over time and that should resolve our um, our commercial needs as well as our as our um, high residential that we've put down over here. So that is good, building up quite quickly. Next thing we're going to do, we've got about 60 grand, so I'm thinking, how's our public transport going? So still only 285, so this one's not getting used a huge amount from what I can see. Um, yeah. Interesting, because still only 285, it's not a whole lot. It is working, isn't it? Yeah, so it comes to there, around to there. So there's that line, so that one goes, should go to there, and then back to that other station on the... Yep, yep, so it is getting used, definitely. I think it's probably just because it's in a really bad spot. There's like not a whole lot of stuff around there, so that's a little, good little experiment for me. Something to sort of be aware of that you sort of maybe got to put it in more... Um, populated or built up areas. Definitely put a metro station in over here as well. It's probably a perfect place to have like a metro station into into this area. But this place hasn't got a whole lot of traffic at the moment, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, so this is actually probably good. I think it's probably actually re overreacting. So like, it's flowing quite well. It is night time, I think. Yep. Um, so obviously that's a lot better, but it's actually not bad. So what we're going to do now, guys, is we are going to try and set up a... Um, Try and set up a cargo terminal over here for our forestry industry. And see how we go there. So it's been abandoned. Oh, it was, it's gone now. It's good. Right. So we need to buy a new tile. So we need to buy this one over here. We can purchase that for 9,900. Now that means that we've got access to this rail line and this road as well. So what we're going to do is go into our train. Um, so we obviously need a cargo train terminal. Um, and we are going to... Um, so we need to build our, obviously build our roads out first. So what we're going to do, we're going to... Where's our upgrade tool? There it is. We're going to upgrade this road along here into like a proper road. And so it was like a gravel road before. But we'll upgrade it there. Um, and then we're going to run some roads sort of out from here down to there. I think probably another one from here out to sort of here. So hopefully it's going to spread the load a little bit more than currently where everything sort of has to come down the one road through there. So what we're going to do now, we're going to build out a road from... We don't need that one, we need this one. Road out from here over to... Uh, probably just to here somewhere. And then we're going to, I think, probably do something like, something like this, and just have a bit of a section there. So, what we're going to do is get our cargo train terminal. Um, I think we're going to do it this way. So, if we put this down here, like that, just 60 grand, it's a lot of money. 
Um, and we're going to also have to wait for our money to build up just a little bit. So what we're going to do, we're going to run a power line from there out to there. So that's going to give our thing power and we'll run a, run a water line from there out to here as well. So to there, so actually give them water to there and just connect up there. Um, cool. So, once we get a little bit more money, what we're going to do is grab our rail and we're actually going to build in um, rail like this. So we need to build in basically to there like that and then build out from there around to there and into there like that. So it looks a little bit ugly but it's just a lot better that um, they actually sort of come off the, off the main line rather than actually sort of having to stop the main line. So they come off here and then they can go basically back on. So. Um, so that's the reason you sort of build it that way, um, in case you were sort of wondering why. So, we're going to see how this works out, basically. So just take off these ones all there. Hopefully now we can actually get a bunch of our trucks actually coming out and using the train terminal. Um, although, do we need outside connections? No, where are we? Not there, not there. Where is it? Side connections, there we go, export. Uh, so it's all forestry, isn't it? So. So that's operating okay. So is our industry going to use this or not? Uh, so we'll sort of bump up the speed, or the speed's already bumped up. And that's set up. So, I think the rail line's set up properly, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, looks fine. I think, I think, I think I do. So here we go. Some of our trucks finally starting to come over here, which is good. So, they can come in here, transport their cargo out. And we're getting some trains running in now, so that is good. And loading up. And where are these going? They're going... So these are all coming off and going into our city. We have do have sort of heavy bands or heavy vehicle bands in our city, so... Um, these are just obviously like little trucks going to our commercial district. So hopefully this is going to take a fair bit of the pressure off, although it still looks like they're sort of exporting products out here quite quickly. So another thing that we could potentially do is build another junction here and sort of have a road coming here so they can actually sort of get onto the highway a lot quicker. Not really sure that's what we want to do. I think we're probably better off, um, like a lot of, quite a few trucks actually now are coming through here. Um, I think we're better off actually um, doing it the way we've got it at the moment. Um, trying to encourage them to use the, um, the cargo train terminal. So it is actually sort of producing a lot of traffic coming into the city through the top here. I think that's okay though. I suppose it depends where they're going. We could actually sort of build... Oh, I haven't really got access to here. So I was going to say, we could sort of build a road coming through into, like, the commercial district. So I think that's really where they're going. Sort of coming through, through here into, like, some of the factories. So maybe that would be a better way. Maybe if we can purchase this one later. So we can purchase this now. Oh, no, we can't. It's actually down to there. So, okay. That's okay. It's fine. Totally fine. Um, cool. So this is all completely built up, which is good. We have a death over here. A dead person waiting for transport. So how's our death care? So we um, only got 14% usage, so we've actually got heaps of cemetery stuff available. Um, interesting. I think I suppose it's just because it's a fair way away. Maybe we need a cemetery. We probably do need a cemetery over here, don't we? Just to sort of cover this area. We don't really have any coverage in this area. Um, no, I'm just going to leave it. Or should we? Actually, so our metro is definitely building up, so 432 a week, which is quite good, so uh, it's a lot better than it was. It's night time, how's our traffic looking? Definitely quite heavy into there, up to 10,700 people, so quite a lot of, quite a big city now, which is which is good. Um, but yeah, what I think we're actually going to do, we're going to start upgrading a bunch of our roads, just for the fun of it. Um, just to sort of reduce a lot of the noise pollution and stuff like that. So we're sort of going to upgrade a lot of these roads. To tree lined ones um, where we can. So we can sort of have a look at the, our busiest ones and also our where the most noise pollution is. So we're going to do that. 
Even though you can't sort of keep that filter on, um, by the way, so... But that's okay, we can do that. So we're going to do upgrade off through here. Which is good, and probably all through here too. This will probably upgrade most of our roads. We're not a real whole lot of sense in not doing it. Um, and that should sort of fix a lot of our... Should help out with noise pollution, make everyone just a little bit happier and stuff, so... So there we go. Um, definitely sort of upgrade these ones through here. To there, upgrades all the way along here. And this all the way along the road, the main road. And we're done there, so then we can go from... Here, all the way along here, which is quite busy road now that's sort of coming into um, to there. We'll upgrade out to there. Might as well upgrade all these two. So it does reset some of your zoning, so some of your buildings are going to have to sort of rejig or rebuild, but I think it's really worth it, um, you know, just to sort of get the noise pollution and stuff down and just make everyone a little bit happier. So that's all good through there. I think that's all of our buildings, actually. I oh, know this one here it hasn't quite been done yet. I think that's everything now. I think all of our roads are upgraded to, to that, so... Yeah, so a bunch of our buildings will sort of have to rebuild, um, so we're going to lose some population and stuff now, but that's fine, I think it's worth it. Didn't really cost that much money, I think, for sort of the benefits. So have a look now, especially like all through here, we've got no noise pollution, which is really, really cool, so just going to make everyone a little bit happier, um, it'll definitely improve land values as well, so along here, along the water is really quite expensive now, which is nice, um, and even through here and stuff as well, so going quite well. Um, awesome. So, it's not no problems I can see, some people and stuff needed, that's fine, so look at all of our cities are nice and tree line. look at that, it's beautiful, looks heaps better, I love it, love it you guys, look at our city, looking pretty good guys, looking very good, um, so, where are we, 23 minutes for the episodes are going pretty well. Um, that's okay, so 410 a week. Wondering whether we should set up some bus lanes to try and get some cars off the road as well. Um, it's doing okay really for the moment. How's this going? It looks like it's using a lot. Um, is it making much of a difference over here? Yeah, it is. So this has actually dropped down quite a bit. What we're actually going to do, I think, is, like I sort of said before, and I probably should have done, going to not use that one, we're going to um, build this out like this, and out to there, and also, where's our road, we're going to come out here like this, and that one will come up to there like that, and then from there, we're actually going to build down into there like that. So hopefully it means some trucks and stuff will start coming from here through to here, um, rather than using sort of the one road. So hopefully that helps just out a little bit. Demolish that burnt down building, which is pretty good, I guess. Um, so. 11,000 people, plus 7,000 cash, so we're raking it in. It's going to jump through, look at our thing. So we still have a little bit of um, power. Garbage is going pretty well. Um, so incineration is fine, 64%, 99%, um, 86 so I'm probably going to need another landfill soon at some stage, uh, but we'll deal with that in a little while I think. Education I think is going quite well, so there's sort of elementary and high school sort of in the middling, but I think we've got enough capacity really for the moment, university's got heaps. 
Everyone's quite happy, which is awesome. Um, everyone's quite healthy as well, which is good. Traffic isn't too bad. A little bit of a problem over here, but that's okay. Pollution, don't really have any pollution, which is awesome. Just some out here and some over here. Um, what are these? Ready to wear. So these are normal industrial buildings. So actually, it looks like, are these like missing out in the district or something? So it looks like they actually are. So what I might do is uh, this one. Extend those out like there. So I wonder if that's actually going to change them. It is. Okay, cool. That's cool. Um, so that's a little problem we fixed up there. So there'll be no pollution in this area. What else we got? It's so noise pollution. We've got a fair bit of noise pollution, um, but it really is probably not too bad through our suburbs through here. We can upgrade these roads. Actually, might do that in a minute. Um, sort of fix the noise pollution through there. Um, fire safety is fine. Crime rate's fine. Public transport's okay. Probably do a little bit better there. Um, population. Land values getting quite high in some areas, which is awesome. Natural resources and leisure. Cool. So, what we're going to do is we're going to run through and upgrade a bunch of our roads again. Might as well upgrade all of these while we're here. So we can upgrade all this, all this, all that. And all the way up through here. Oops, did not mean to do that, so we have to delete that and change it back. Um, so we need our highway and run the line from there to there. There we go. As well. Um and back to upgrading. Cool. So There we go, I think that's all of our roads upgraded, which is good. So I can't see that still need doing. Awesome. So noise pollution, yep, so it's basically removed the noise pollution from a lot of these areas, which is really, really good. So quite happy with that. Um, traffic's still moving, it's right red, but um, you yeah, know, it is moving, so yeah, could be worse. Um, so where do we go from here, guys? What are we gonna do? Um, what do we want? So we need a fair bit of commercial demand, so I think we might sort of keep building up this area. Um, although we could sort of keep building through here. Actually, you sort of might kind of build through here. Build out from here, so in through, um, sort of, front of our, from our existing one, sort of build in, inwards. And then we can sort of build around that as well. So I think that's probably a good way rather than um, sort of just building out from there. So we're going to put down some few roads here. So I might as well start just using this one all the time, the, um, the tree lined one. So it probably just works a little bit better. So what we're going to do. Because we're going to come around this way, and might come out this way, and down into there like that. And then from there, we're actually going to run a one up here, there. And then what we're going to do is run a road up to there, up to there. And I think we'll be just run one up here. Yeah, it's pretty boring. That's okay. We'll just run with it, guys. That's what we're going to do. Um, so I'm going to fill in all of this as light commercial. Which is good. Um, all through this area. Probably delete those little bits. Just there and there. Um, and probably up around here as well. Then I'm going to put down some more office buildings along here. Like this. And probably around here as well, and sort of all in this area as well, through there, like that. So there we go. So, I sort of just mix and match and create sort of like trying to create a little bit of a business area, which is cool. So, we're going to expand our district out here, so the Evergreen Mills CBD, we're going to actually expand that all out to cover this area and along here like that and just get rid of that along there like that like that, cool so, we have our CBD coming out along here 
Um, and that's pretty good. So what are we gonna need? We have to run some water. So we're gonna run the water line up there, to there, hook up to there, and run one straight through there to there. And one from here, straight through to there, like that. And that's all of that solved. Now uh, we gotta get rid of these power lines in a minute once these connect up like that, so we can get rid of these like that, which is good, so we can fix that. And everything else is going quite well. I think pretty happy with how it's all going. So that's gonna sort out all of our, um, our commercial demand. And we should upgrade all these roads along here while we're there. There we go, and just along here. So I mean, later in the game, like you're going to be rolling in money, so might as well sort of just spend the money to upgrade these things, make everything look a bit nicer, which I think it does definitely. So everyone should be a little bit happier. Just cool. So traffic's still moving just. It's a little bit slow now. So let's sort of slow things down a bit. Have a look. What our sort of city is looking like. So this is quite cool. So then we've got our sort of our business industrial area, our business um, office area over here. Um, services here with our hospital and some commercial come over the bridge into Paradise Falls which is quite built up now so a lot of quite high rise buildings and stuff along the water there which is cool and um, we're going to say some expensive mansions on the water um, I suppose they look quite good don't they they've got big houses and all that kind of stuff so just can imagine that they're sort of expensive mansions everyone living on the water and all of our sort of high rise residential all through here um, which is cool, some commercial, more high res residential and then moving out into, slowly out into the suburbs where everything's a little bit quieter, a little bit darker and over out into our forestry industry so I think we're pretty good guys um, we're actually building out quite quickly so we're actually expanding quite quickly so population has definitely um, you know, jumped up a lot in the last couple of episodes um, which is a good thing, so getting sort of up there, getting a lot of money, getting a lot of um, population, there's no reason why we can't, sort of can't really keep building, So, which is, which is quite exciting. So I think what we're going to do next episode is probably actually start building out here with our residential, start filling this in this area a little bit more. Um, we've got a fair bit of residential demand, a lot of commercial demand still that we've actually sort of built all this area in and we've still actually got in commercial demand, so uh, something you have to sort of keep an eye on I guess. May start something filling in some of this a little bit more, um, keeping people happy, and that's pretty good. So we're only at 33 minutes at the moment, so I think we're going to put a cut in here in the video, guys. I um, hope you're enjoying the series. If you have any sort of thoughts or hints or tips or anything like that, um, of course, be sure to let me know. I'd love to hear, love to hear what you think about everything. Um, and that's pretty good. So I think this is definitely, the, having the cargo things actually definitely lightened load. Um, and even sort of out through here, this is quite light really, traffic wise. Uh, which is quite cool, so. Can't buy another area yet, but that's okay. We will get to that one day. Um, nearly 500 people using our metro, which is a fair bit, not a huge amount. I'm thinking we may sort of set up some bus lanes soon. Uh, maybe even a taxi rank, maybe set up some taxi areas over here um, and then they can sort of service the, the CBD over here um, and then maybe even fit even, even another taxi one over here and they can service sort of this area. Maybe that is going to help things, who knows, I'm not really sure to be honest. I haven't really used taxis before, not sure how effective they are. So Anyway, I'm going to put a cut in here guys, hope you're enjoying the video, um, hope you've had a great day and I'll see you all soon.